Thanks, Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Immigration. The Minister has told the Parliament that the High Court's decision meant that, quote, every person required to be released by order of the High Court was so released. In fact, the High Court only directed the release of the plaintiff NZYQ in that case. The decision to release the others was a decision made by the government order. in advance of the order reasons the being handed down will, based on what pause. is The member will pause because I'm going to ask him to state the question again because there is far too much noise from the Minister for Home Affairs and members on my right. The same rules apply to everyone. The question's going to be heard in silence. It's not a free-for-all. You don't give commentary during questions. If you want to comment during the answer, well, go right ahead. But for, for, for my job, I have to listen to the questions. So the member for Wanham will state his question again. My question is to the Minister for Immigration. The Minister has told the Parliament the High Court's decision meant that, quote, every person required to be released by order of the High Court was so released, end quote. In fact, the High Court only directed the release of the plaintiff NZYQ in that case. The decision to release the others was a decision made by the government, advance of the reasons being handed down based on what is ex expected the High Court to say. Isn't it the case that the minister has misled the parliament? Yes. Order. Order. Members on my right, the Minister for Immigration, Citizenship and Multicultural Affairs has the call. Thank you very much, Speaker. And I thank the Shadow Minister for that extraordinary question. Let me be very, very, very clear. The High Court in its decision required the release of individuals in similar circumstances to the plaintiff, NZYQ. The government had to comply with this, as any government would. As any government would. And the opposition's claims to the contrary, including those of the Shadow Attorney General, a former First Law Officer of this country, are baseless, wrong and, frankly, unworthy. Now, a former Attorney General, not from this side of politics had this to say. And I think his comments are worth listening to. Former Senator Brandis. I have not disguised my concern at attacks upon the institutions of the law, the courts and those who practice in them. To attack those institutions Order. is to attack the rule Order. of law itself. Order. He went on to say in his uh, remarks and valedictory, it's for the Attorney General to always defend the rule of law, sometimes from political colleagues who fail to understand it or are impatient Order. of the Members limitations it may impose on executive Order. power. That is a very apt comment now, and members opposite should have regard to it, and they should be ashamed. The member for Sturt will cease interjecting. And the House comes to order. I'll hear from the member for the member for Barker is now warned. 